All right, welcome everybody. It's time once again for those crafty kinsets. We are here in Calabasas, California at the Kinseth family home. Uh, now here's what we're gonna do. It's a Halloween challenge, but Greg, you say something specific in regards to your Dungeons and Dragons game that you need, right? What do you need? I need for my game, I need a bone golem. A couple of them actually. A bone golem. What right. the heck is a bone golem? A bone golem is specifically, if you think about a monster, a, a giant monster that is made up of all these bones. So if a, if you walk into a graveyard, all the bones from the grave start coming up and forming this monstrosity creature. It can be based on any bones that are in the ground at the time. They never look the same. They always look different no matter which one you encounter. So we're gonna try and create a bone golem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is a live challenge. They're gonna be using bone pieces from actual skeletons that have been purchased at where? Dollar Walmart, store, yeah. Walmart. Cheap stuff. Cheap, cheap, cheap stuff, cheap. they're cheap. Cheap stuff, so anybody can get this and do this. Now, you do know what you're gonna make. No, no idea. idea. No, because None. we actually just got the stuff. We have our table of goodies right on over here. Oh, look at all of these scary Halloween scary. items that they're going to be using. Hey, buddy. All right, uh, with that being said, we got our timer going. Are you That's guys- timer. Hey guys, there's no timer, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even know what I'm saying. Then this challenge has begun, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, jeez, my. Now they're fighting their way over at the that. challenge table. That. What exactly are they going to use? What's this? What is this? I don't know what that is, but okay. <laughs> we need it, yeah, we need it. Oh boy, Sean's got it. Right, All right, he's got his goodies. We're sharing those, by the way. <laughs> Apparently, according to Greg, a bone golem uses the bones in the cemetery. They come together to form some sort of scary creature. Feels like you're doing some surgery here. What are you? I'm collecting bones. John, you're doing some cutting up work here. You're using some of these uh, little medium-sized skeletons, I see. Yeah, I think I have in my mind, I'm definitely gonna use a bunch of rib cages. How exactly are you guys gonna be able to get these things to stand up, is what I... It's gonna be a little tricky because we're gonna, we're gonna use glue guns and uh, glue and whatever we can, but we'll probably have a base. And now, what are you guys gonna make the base out of? Cardboard. Cardboard? So I'm gonna have to steal some off your table then because I have no cardboard. Ah, I brought a sheet of cardboard just in case we need it to base, which is a Lego box. What I'm gonna do here is take this rib cage, I'm gonna cut it in half, and I'm gonna use the different parts of the rib cage for like shoulder blades. We got these huge skulls, but I don't, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. They're kind of big, so maybe these smaller ones will work better. I think I will use hands for feet and feet for hands maybe. Shh, don't give John any ideas. I heard that. Going with some kind of uh, limbs here. Those nice. are gonna probably be some kind of arms, maybe. Do we have a barter here? You bag of big skulls. I a little skull. Man, you can't hoard all the little skulls. Come on. Two of these for some of the, your mini characters. There's another pack up there. It's left on There's the another table. pack left on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I think we went to high school together. I am going to cut off the hands. I guess these creatures would come out of a graveyard then, huh? Is that the idea? Like, what, they're like drawn to each other under the ground? Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, I could see that, where hands and feet could easily get swapped around. What are they, amoebas, leeches? Yeah, some kind of little Halloween creature, you know? Dollar Tree creatures. Nice. Disassembling clearly takes a while, is that correct, guys? Yeah, it does. Did you guys realize this was gonna take so long? I'll trade you a leg bone for a torso. I'm the ultimate winner of this whole competition because uh, oh, really? I get to use all these in my game. There you go. That's true. Oh, I need more spines. Oh, more spines. John's back to the table. That's it, everything. Oh, that's it. The table has been used up. I like the idea of this thing having some extra hands. So they, I may change those, but I like that idea. And then they're gonna have some big long arms and the legs are gonna be kind of weird, so. Oh, Greg has got the hot glue gun out. Silently, Greg is over here working. What you got there, John? I'll show you. Tools? John's got some special tools in here that he's been saving for this show. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Where did you get all those skulls? Oh, you know, it came from the Dollar Tree or something. <laughs> it's gonna be a claw full of feet, feet bones. John has cut out a little base from, is that from Greg's little Lego cardboard thing? Yes, so I'm gonna make some feet for this thing and maybe the feet are skulls. Oh, that's a smart way to get that guy to stand up. Yeah. Kind of like a samurai outfit. Yeah. 
And then I'm gonna put the skull, not not like that. The skull's gonna be like that. Like he's got no neck. Right, 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 right. right. Gotta drill the skull so I can put the feet, uh, the legs in there. Ooh, look at Greg. Greg's uh, he's gonna have like a flamingo leg. Going to plan B with the legs. And what happened with plan A? I just did I put the skulls on there and it just didn't look right. Greg, I think your flamingo legs got him intimidated. <laughs> these little stringies are kind of a problem though. When you use the glue gun, these strings go everywhere. I've seen you, Greg, use the string of the hot glue gun before for things. Yeah, if, if you need like a little tiny, uh, especially in the D and D scale, because 28 millimeter, you know, a guy, he's got some net or some rope or some fishing line or something you want to make in a diorama, you can use a little of these stupid little glue gun strings and let them dry. You can use those in their perfect scale for that type of like crafting. Waiting for it to dry. <laughs> you gotta wait. You gotta wait. <laughs> yeah, we're just dying to know if he's gonna stand up. I'm just waiting here with. Oh, 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 we have a vertical posture. I'm glad you abandoned the yeah, skulls as feet, too. because even though it would have worked to keep him upright, I think this looks way creepier. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 32 minutes into the challenge and Greg has finally taken his seat. What do we got going on here, Greg? I am gonna take all these little leg pieces, these leg bones, and I'm gonna make a claw. these bags of worms, uh, you gotta use these for something. So I just figured it's gonna be some gnarly kind of a spinal cord coming up. Yeah. Is there any faster way to make this glue dry? I guess you could put a fan on it. Leg bone for an arm. Kind of cool. Sure, don't wait yeah. Oh, a crooked is perfect. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then I'll have this thing coming out with big long ass arms. Nice. So we're about one hour into the challenge. Both Greg and John have taken a seat. Their characters are taking form. <clears throat> Greg is patiently just holding his piece in place and it does stand up. Yeah. He is not done yet. Uh, not we're getting down. extra legs. He needs some extra skulls that I 3D printed yesterday. Oh, you did not. <laughs> Can't beat me straight up. He's got to cheat in order to win. Yeah. Extra set of skulls. Hey. That's a good idea. Let's oh, see what else yeah. Oh, like. yeah. Looking good. Getting creepier. Greg, your guy's coming together. Now, we don't have two legs that are are equal, but you're not worried about that. No, you're I'm just not worried yet. Not worried yet. Oh, yeah. The extra bones coming out definitely give it that kind yeah, of. Yeah, I think this for this creature, it would be kind of like protection, so you can't, like, uh, you know, get to the skulls. Right. It's, not too far away from being done here. Taking shape, as is Greg's. We have a full character here. So it's going to have claws on the feet. Do you like that with the uh, elongated spine skull thing, or do you think it looks just fine without it? I'm probably gonna take it off. Send us your comments, let me know. Well, it looks like Greg is moving on to the base portion of his bone golem. His bone golem's looking pretty good, look at that. Greg, what did you use for the pirate hat? That's a hip. I'm just getting doesn't? rid of this. Oh, I don't no. like it. I just don't just like doesn't it. doesn't like it. All right. We discussed with Greg that his feet weren't even earlier. He wasn't worried about it then. Still not worried. Still not worried. You could put like a little skull under his, under that one foot, like he's crushing the skull as he's stepping. There's a reason why Aaron is behind the camera. Rude. Totally rude. <laughs> Look, you're like a surgeon with your pliers and your hot glue gun. I could have been a doctor. Totally. Greg knows he's in good shape with the look of his bone golem, if only he can get it to stand. Stepping on a skull. Stepping on a skull. Where'd you get that idea from, Greg? I think I just said that to Greg, and he said there was a reason why I'm behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> good suggestion here. Oh, thanks. Anytime, anytime. 
Oh, John, with even more pieces now coming out. Now the details are really starting to flesh out here. He's nervous right now. He need, he knows he needs this bone golem to stand up. Otherwise, this whole challenge could just... Oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Greg's bone golem is standing. Oh, 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 oh yeah, man, it's spoken too soon. It'll get there, it'll get there. <laughs> well, while Greg has been working on just getting his character upright, John has been adding quite a few details to his Bone Golem character. Might as well be a little graveyard down there since these characters are picking up bones as they walk, from what I understand. Is that right? Bone Golem? John's Except trying to pretend that he's not a D&D &D nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Greg will not reach disqualification in the Bone Golem Challenge. Not this time. After all, his bone creature is upright. All right, John is just about done. He's going to get these last few bones on this fantastic character. Greg wants to give him a tail. John, what do we got here? Uh, a little graveyard here. Just putting some of these little extra bones. Just going to glue them down to the base. And then when we paint it up, it'll look pretty cool. It's like a pile of bones. Oh yeah, oh yeah. John's workshop has plenty of accoutrement when it comes to sticking things together. Ooh, the old extra leg in the back, extra creepy, plus adds a little bit of stabilization. Once we pick off all the little glue things in there, the glue boogers, I like to call them, uh, and then we paint this, it's gonna look really cool. Everything's gonna pop out once we do the layers of paint. What? Well, I'm gonna wrap. Hold on, Greg is still not done though. No, I'll call, I'll call it. You sure? Yep. So we're calling it. All right, well we are done with the first part of our Bone Golem Challenge. John and Greg, give them a round of applause. Great job guys, great job guys. Let's take a look at these Bone Golems in detail. Let's bring them on over to our viewing stage, All shall right. we? Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Two unbelievable Bone Golems. We've got John's Bone Golem right there. We've got Greg's Bone Golem right there. Which one is better? I think we've got to throw it out to the audience. Which of these two Bone Golems do you think is better, more creepy, and best suited for Greg's Dungeons & Dragons game? But wait! I'm going to send these guys home for a couple days to spend some time painting and sweetening <laughs> these and then we're going to bring them back and then you're going to have the final decision to see who is the best at making the Bone Golem. All right, two days later we're back. Greg and John's Bone Golems have been painted and sweetened and we are ready for the big reveal. We are super close to Halloween. Los Angeles is on fire, right? Is it still on fire? Right, it is. We're monitoring it because we might have to get out of here soon. But first, let's take a look at Greg and John's Bone Golems. Yes. Nicely done, guys. All right, let's start with yours, John. Yes. Wow. I am loving what you have done, and the sweetening of it really, really makes it pop. Greg, do you like your brother's uh, bone golem? Not really. <laughs> Come on! What do you really, really? <laughs> no, it, it's actually pretty cool. I actually like the the color scheme. It, it's a little like like it's a uh, it's overgrown with like slime and moss. Yeah, and, it's a little dark, and, much yeah. darker than yours. You got a little green tint, which I kind of think is cool. I like that the two hips from like two legs. Like you got two hips making up the two legs. Yeah, and that actually works good because it's easier to stand. It's a very stable. Yeah, I used a lot of rib cages and torsos and uh, it's pretty cool actually what you, you can do with these things. Uh, Alright, let's now take a look at Greg's Bone Golem. Greg, nicely done. I really... First of all, let me talk about the color. The color is really interesting. Is that is that what you were going for? Yeah, it started with a with an all black spray painted it black, so it had a black, so you could see the the connections between the bones are kind of the blackish, the dark color, and then I went I went really light from there, but still seeing some of the black underneath, and then I kind of brown washed it and made it all dirty and dusty and more bone color. Nice. Yeah, John, do you like his uh, his bone golem? I hate it because it's better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think the color he got the he nailed the color. You did. You nailed the color. I like that he's stepping on the skull in the back. I don't know who gave you that idea. Yeah, Good idea. That Good idea. idea, Greg. I needed to flock my base, too. It's like it wasn't finished yet. I think, Greg, it's the hat. It's the fact that you took the hips and made kind of like the, <laughs> the like captain's hat. hat. And then the little the little wings right here on the corner, on his little shoulders, kind of like little football pads. I think that's, uh, yeah, it's really, really, really a great job. 
really a great job. Well, thank you. All right, well, let's put them both together. You know, and when I look at them both together, it's amazing how different they are. They yeah. both look great. They're, They're going to look so good in my game. They yeah. are going to look so good in your D&D &D game, Greg. Can't wait for the people to... Uh, come across a band of bone golems. Ooh. Nice. Thank you for watching the Almost Dollar Store Challenge, which we're calling it that because just about everything in these bone golems came from the dollar store, with That's the exception right. of a couple of skulls from Walmart, and of course, John the Cheater 3D printed a couple of skulls what? as well. Um, but let, before we go, you gotta tell us which one you think is best, but first I'm gonna tell you which one I think is best, and this is hard because they're both so fantastic. They are good. I'm going to give the slight edge to Greg as the winner this time. Greg gets the slight edge. Something about the face really has a personality. Something about the personality in Greg's Bone Golem really, I felt like, set it apart from John's. But John's, yours was super fantastic. And I have to admit, uh, we'll get close-ups on this, but I think Greg won this one. It's... Oh my wow. God! Whoa! And then you, you heard it right here. It's on tape. It's on it's tape. On the tape. only time. This, wow. now, but are we correct? Tell us which ones you liked, what you liked and didn't like. We are a brand new channel. We are a, a crafting challenge channel. Hit the subscribe button if there's something you like. Uh, and share. And please, share. Please Actually, share the video with all your friends. That's right. And leave us comments below because that really helps us know what we should be doing next. From Calabasas, California, where we're, luckily we're not on fire yet, we're going to say Happy Halloween Close. one more time. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween, everybody!